everybody. It's Sue here from Big Cause Wax Wraps. Given the coronavirus and uh, our need to keep things fresh in the fridge, we just wanted to show you our singles and our sizes of the singles and give you some advice on some ways to keep your fresh, fresh produce really fresh <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> you might as well let them know that I'm behind the camera. Linda's behind the camera and she's <laughs> making me nervous. Keep going, you're doing All good. Right, okay, so I want to go through a few of these sizes here. So one of them is a jumbo wrap. And what we do is we buy the fat flats from one of the stores, make sure it's 100% cotton. So these can vary slightly in size. Now these wraps are fantastic for bigger produce. So if you want to really give your cauliflower a great wrap and keep it in your... Um, crisper for ages now we've got clients getting a month out of their cauliflower uh, wrap it in one of these beauties it's really well wrapped and you will seriously if you need to you'll need you can get a month out of your wrap just because you've wrapped it beautifully with this bread stuff like that as well for these big jumbo wraps uh other platters clients, platters over platters and stuff like that as well not that we're going to do a lot of entertaining at the moment but Breads. it's coming this too will pass and bread as well I said bread. Okay, I should yeah. shut up now. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, the next size. So we've first gone through the $20 um, uh, jumbo wrap. The next size is our extra large wrap. Now, these beauties are fantastic for things like celery, uh, cauliflower again, uh, pumpkin. Just make sure when you cut the pumpkin, you put some baking paper over the top of the, the cut and then put the wrap over the top. It'll keep beautifully. But you really need to do that as well for pumpkin and sweet potato, things like that. So if you're wrapping something like that that's fairly big, this wrap is a beauty. Again, if you're wrapping things that are smaller though and you want to give them a double wrap to get more life out of them, please use a bigger wrap. Uh, and just on, on another uh, point with that as well is if you've wrapped things in the fridge and you've got bulk of them, if you can separate them and you want to keep them for a while, separate each item. So if I've got a cucumber, I'm going to put it in there and then put another cucumber and continue to wrap like that, just keeping them separate. That will make the life of that produce so much longer. Also, one of the things that Linda always does and her produce always keeps forever, uh, well, not forever, they're not miracle. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> not that good. No, I am. Yeah. That's why our wraps there. last so long. Well, that's all right. Uh, put some paper towel. So when you wrap, wrap, unwrap, say your cauliflower, you've unwrapped it and there's a little bit of moisture on the wrap, just give it a little dab with a paper towel or put some paper towel over the top and rewrap it. You'll get so much more life out of your produce if you do that. So we're going from one week, two week to a month that we're getting out of our produce using these wraps. You will get even longer out of some produce if you use paper towel and just get that condensation off as well. Uh, definitely a great idea for keeping produce fresh in your fridge and having some great fridge life out of it. Alrighty, here's our large wrap, 35 centimetre by 35 cent centimetre, perfect for broccoli, uh, big cheese, things like that, capsicum. Again, if you want to keep a few veggies together like carrots, make sure you put one carrot in, roll it, then put another carrot in, fold it over it and keep going. It actually does uh, prolong the life of things like carrots and uh, capsicums and um, cucumbers and things like that much gives a much, much, much more uh, fridge life for sure. Again, if you want to keep them even longer, if there, there's some condensation that has built up on the, in the food or on the wrap when you unwrap them, just wipe that down or pat it down or put some paper towel in there as well. It really, really does work. That's a terrific size, that one. It's really great for big salad bowls and things like that as well and sticks to plastic. So if you've lost any lids, that beauty is a good one. I love it. The next one, is the 30 by 30 or what we call our lunch wrap. This one here is perfect for a couple of sandwiches. Uh, if you've got sandwiches that have got lots of um, like tomato or things like that that are a little bit wet in them, just put a bit of paper towel over the sandwich and then wrap it in here. Also good for actual sandwich wraps, so it's a perfect size for that. And it's a really, really versatile wrap. I think this is one of our best sellers. But at the moment, I'd probably be going for one of the bigger ones if you want to get longevity out of all of your vegetables and things. But this is definitely a beauty. Our next wrap 
is our 25 by 25. Again, great for sandwiches. So for a single sandwiches sandwich, deli ham. So if you want to keep deli ham in your fridge for eight to 10 days, sometimes even longer, depending on the ham and how wet it is, uh, wrap it in paper towel first, then wrap this guy over. When you open it up and there's been a bit of condensation, change the paper towel. You will get a lot more life out of your deli products mm. if you. The paper towel, yeah. uh, the ham's very greasy, isn't it? So the paper towel stops that grease from going onto it your wrap. It does, it does. Of course, these are antibacterial and antifungal and antiviral because of the ingredients that we use. Um, but things go rotten eventually. If you keep that condensation off them or even the, the fat content and content down in terms of deli uh, meats, uh, this will really help. Also great for cheese as well. People are just loving this size for cheese and the next size up as well. And for your single veggies like cucumbers, if you want to shove them in the fridge, they'll last for ages in this. And last but not least, our beautiful snack wrap. So this is a 20 by 20. Uh, nuts, uh, little things like uh, snacks that you want to take to work, covering small bowls, uh, things that you've just got leftovers in the fridge you want to cover. Cheese, avocado keeps lovely in these little wraps. Um, Linda's the one to talk to about avocado and how long they keep, but I know I definitely get to eat my whole avocado before it goes uh, brown. Before yes. um, I get to keep mine for over a week. I think it was two weeks was the last one, wasn't it? And I was still eating it. Ooh. And was I shared it? Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's ooh, pretty good. it was perfect. <laughs> oh, I have to eat avocado pretty quickly, but I know that these wraps definitely keep them much longer. Perfectly fresh, yes. Now, as I said before, given the fact that we we may have to self isolate, who knows? Uh, I know that schools are still open. If you want to bulk buy your fresh produce and you don't want to go out as much basically stay inside and don't be around a lot of people I highly recommend using the beeswax wraps to keep things really fresh in your fridge a couple of hints as I said when you open the the wax wrap up they will you'll get even more life out of your produce if you pat them down and keep them dry and the air out and um, let the air out yeah well squash you know make sure that you you know yeah up. okay oh. Lena <laughs> <laughs> all right go on okay and put some paper towel in there if you really, really want to extend the life of them, just to soak up that condensation. But I really can't think of a better way to um, keep your produce fresh other than freezing them, which you can use these wraps in the freezer as well. Uh, but using these beeswax wraps is really And if going. guys, if you're taking this time for some family time and going, let's say, camping on a beach, our wraps come in very handy for the veggies and it's been proven time and time again with me because that's all I do is camp all so, right see you later everybody have a great day and where do they shop oh go online to www.bcause but it's b with b double e dash cause dot com dot au <laughs> Linda <laughs> bye, bye.